Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be doing a special video. I'm gonna be doing a video about the city I was born in, the city of Pomona, California. And here today, I'm at the Lincoln Park, historic park, historic district. And it's what it looks like. There's a little sign right there. And here I am in kind of like, I wouldn't say the downtown area, but like the historic part of the city on Palomares Street. And I'm gonna just be walking around and giving you guys a little tour of what, kind of, what this place kind of looks like. So I'm gonna like flip the camera so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so here we have the park area. That's what it looks like. It's very historic, it's very old. It was foggy earlier today, so that's why it kind of looks foggy. You guys can see right there is like a super tall tree. That tree's ridiculous to tall. That's what it looks like. It's not too busy today. It's kind of like a calm, a calm Friday. You know, everybody's working today. Yeah, so I was born here in this city and this city is amazing. It's a great place, but there's other parts of the city that aren't so great. Like this place has a weird rep kind of. Like we have like that rapper Sugar Free that's from here. Young Drummer Boy and like other local artists. This place is known for like a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and it's kind of like how do i say it has like a bad name or like when you hear pomona a lot of people think you're like it's the hood but right now here i am in like the historic area and as you can see this place does not look you know dangerous or dirty or whatsoever it looks pretty nice and i will show you guys the different part of the city where everything looks more uh like lower class i guess you could say underprivileged you could even say as well but i just want to walk around and show you guys what it looks like and there's that super tall tree right there yeah i really like it here it just has like a weird vibe that it's like hood but at the same time you can just like walk past like kingsley avenue and then you're like or above it and then you're like in a you're in a decent area and i'm sorry if you guys hear wind and stuff like that but it's currently december and you can see the leaves are falling here's a tree pine tree people are putting up their christmas decorations you know I don't know. This part of California kind of looks like other parts of California. It's kind of like Sacramento. It's because there's a lot of trees and stuff. And you can see like there's a lot of little like tiny plants and stuff like that. Like agaves and these cactus. Little cactus. You got the giant palm trees right there. You got pine trees, some agaves some nepales or all these other plants pretty nice yards these houses are very well taken care of across the street right now yeah this place looks very historic it looks very vintage but it also looks like it's been taken very well very well taken care of Yeah, I know this is like a different video. Normally I do like clothing videos, like shoes and stuff like that, but I've been selling my shoes because I don't really wear them and I could sell them to other people that could get a better use out of them instead of holding on to it and not getting a good use out of it. 
but I wanted to do more videos like this <clears throat> where I could just kind of show where I live and how my community is. Cause I feel like I like exploring. So I like to walk around like the city and like shoot videos. Just kind of like showing what's going on when I got like free time and stuff like that. But it's pretty cool. All right. So now I'm going to be walking to Gary Avenue, which is right here. And it's gonna look drastically different. Like here I was in like this nice little historic area where everything looks super, uh, I guess, nice, nice lawns, nice houses, nice cars, and nice plants and trees and stuff like that. No garbage at all. But I'm about to show you a different side of the city that looks completely the opposite and you may be shocked. So I will show it to you. Just like, I'm on my way there right now. So when I get there, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here I am again on Jefferson Avenue and Gary Avenue. And this is what it looks like. See here, somebody like tagged this place up. It looks condemned. Like, like, well, over there it still looks nice though. There's a school over there. It has like that Spanish architecture. So it's pretty cool. There's a nice house right there. There's like this store right here. I don't know if it's like a corner store or something. Over here is a barber shop. It's pretty neat. very busy on the busy streets it's extremely busy actually but this isn't even like the downtown area yet I will still show you guys what that looks like so just hold on Because we're about to get there and you guys are about to see what it looks like see there's so much like i don't know people are like vandalized a lot of stuff here so the city does have a lot of vandalism which makes the city look kind of like trashy and it makes it look bad right there's like a lot of garbage everywhere then again, it's like all of California has a lot of garbage, so I don't know. I don't think it really makes a difference. There's gas for Menos right there at the corner. And here's the Starbucks. The Stater Bros over there. get back to you guys once I cross the street hold on and here I am in Gary Avenue still and Holt Avenue this is the area I was talking to you about Lincoln Park Historic District in Pomona and this is the Purpose Church I don't know but it's like a church where you can rent it and stuff like that but this is what it looks like I just walked a little down the street but as you can see, it's like a super huge church. I don't know what it's for. Like, I really don't have no clue what they use this church for, to be honest. But it looks really old. Looks like it's been here for a while. You can see that there's a lot of tall palm trees here. I wonder, like, how 
How long does it take for them to get that tall? Cause I know like they grow pretty fast, but I don't know how tall like they could really get. I heard they, they just keep growing and they just keep getting taller and taller and taller and taller. Like they don't ever stop. This is what it looks like. So you guys can see the church. The street. It's pretty big. This is what it looks like. So yeah, so now we are reaching the downtown area. And let me tell you, the downtown area looks a whole lot different. Like, I'm not joking. It looks a whole lot different. But I mean, it still looks nice though. But here's what it looks like. So yeah, so. A lot of banana trees. A lot to look at. Here we are at a. I think it's called a Pegasus. This this uh, gas station. And across the street, there's a Jack in the Box, and it's like a motel. And if you keep going down that way. Uh, I think it takes you to like, uh, I don't know where it goes to be honest. I've never really gone more to like the west part of the city. It was like the most I've ever like gone, I guess. I and mean, then I've gone over there. I think like Town Avenue is over there. Or not. I don't know. But here's what it looks like. It's Jack in the Box. There's a lot of leaves. You see my shoes, I'm wearing my Air Maxes, but they're all messed up now. Yeah. It's a Pollo Loco. And like in the sidewalk, there's like a lot of like carved things. Like names, I don't know. what it looks Well, if only you guys could smell what it smells like right now. It smells like a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. Not too good. What it looks like. A lot of the buildings here have like burglary bars or like behind their windows. A lot of the places here are condemned too. And here I am on Holt Avenue, walking east towards like Montclair, Ontario area. I kind of just want to like cross the street over there, so just so you guys can see like what both sides look like. See, American Legion. I don't know what this is for. 
It looks old though. It's made with brick buildings. I mean brick. Made with brick. My bad. dealer here for cars there's actually a lot of car dealers here by the way it's a lot of leaves Another gas station. I have no clue what's happening. That's where I was at just not too long ago, and I'll show you guys a little historic part of the city. I'll be, hmm, I'm not sure if I want to keep walking and just keep recording or if I just want to like skip to like certain spots, but I feel like I might make a second part or a part two video where I just go to specific spots and when I do go to specific spots, I'll just talk about, you know, what it's about, what it is and how it's impacting me and times that uh, I've had, you know, visiting, growing up, what I've seen and what I've done. Because here on, here on this street, I walk this street lots of times. I, I don't know, Pavona has really good uh, Mexican food, so that's what I would recommend it for. Have good food. My bad, I accidentally hung up the, the video, or I accidentally like, paused it. But here I am still walking. And this is what it looks like. It's a lot of, a lot of businesses, a lot of stores, restaurants, a lot of clothing places. A lot of convenience stores, liquor stores, whatever you want, it's all here. Because like today that I'm walking downtown, it doesn't look as dirty as normal as like sometimes it looks insanely dirty. I don't know. Maybe it's been getting cleaned up or something. I don't know. Wait, wait.
Isra Tar Trees. McDonald's. I'm just waiting for the light to change so I can cross the street. There you go. There's some like dude out there riding that bike crazy. I don't know, I don't, I hope people don't get mad that I'm like filming and doing my video. But there's a long street full of the tall palm trees. This is Palm Lane. I took photos on this street. It's a pretty cool street. I almost wanted to just cross the street so you guys can check it out. But I don't know if I should just wait for my part two video to do that. Well, there's not really anything special about it, really. Like, down that street, it's just a packing plant. But, it just has a really tall tree. Hold on, I'll show you guys. So you guys can see. It just has, like, the really tall trees right there. And it just goes down all the way. to like that dead end right there. It looks pretty cool. It gives me like that Hollywood downtown. I mean, like the Los Angeles vibe. And then over here, it's like a tall agave, a big one. It's like little like apartments or I don't know what these are. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And walking more towards this way, there's Scott than us over there. The store. Still lots of cars here. It's still pretty busy. And it's like a donut shop right there. A lot of homeless people that hang out at that donut shop there. Especially during the afternoon or at night. And there's like people on stands like selling selling things. It's trying to sell you like I don't know like cell phone service or insurance. Yeah, like I said, there's people that hang out here. You just have to ignore them. Yeah, but like, I guess I could say some fun facts about the city while I show you guys around. But I think here in the city of Pomona, the demographics are that I think over like what is it like? I think 81% of the population here is actually Hispanic. So they come from like Mexico or like Central America or South America. And what else? A lot of the a lot of the youth is the majority here. There's actually more teenagers and young adults and kids here than elderly. I mean, kind of makes sense. Like I said, there's a lot of garbage here, but I don't know if they can space up. But yeah, as you can see, there's a 99 cents store. I mean, um, I don't think it's there anymore, is it?
very busy place. I mean, this place has a lot of crime too. It's an effort to have a lot of crime. A lot of like robberies happen, shootings used to happen. There's a lot of bad stuff that would happen, to be honest. And it's sad, but it's just the people here don't take good care of it. The streets here, as you can see, the roads, they're pretty messed up. The sidewalks are kind of messed up too. And there's like some spots that have like more trash and garbage than others. So that's that. Shopping carts, people stuff here. I have to duck across the street really quickly. There's this condemned building right here. There's a 7 Eleven right there. High efficiency appliance outlet alleyway. It's, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of like graffiti there, like tagging, I should say, not graffiti. It's a lot of garbage too. A lot of tall trees. There's a barber shop right here. And like a tropical fish. What? Like a church here too. All right, we reached the next spot that I wanted uh, to show you guys. And it's right here. It's, I think it's called Gary Park. I know the name of this fucking park, but I forgot. Oh man, I swear. Uh, Sorry about that guys. But I'll show you guys the park. Hold on. Alright, so I'm back. So here I am at the park. And this is what it looks like. This is cool statue that's right here. I'll flip the camera so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Hold on. So here's what the park looks like. It's a very nice park, I won't lie. Here's the sign that I was telling you about. If you guys want to like pause it and read it. There's a statue. I think it's supposed to be like a soldier. And Pomona, by the way, is a goddess, a Roman goddess. And then that's the name of the city, named after a Roman goddess. And I think that's her statue right there. Or I don't know who that is to be honest. I'm just making assumptions. And here's what the park looks like. A lot of homeless people hang out here. A lot of drug usage goes down here. I'll walk around the park a little bit so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Here's there's like a little like restroom building. A little park and yeah, the super tall trees over there and behind these trees. There's like houses, apartments. Over here, there's more tall palm trees. Looks really set. 
right there is Holt Avenue. And this is basically the park. It's pretty nice, but I don't know. Sometimes it could be full of a lot of weirdos here, a lot of drug usage, a lot of street people that don't have anything better to do hang out here or bums. So if you come to the park and you want to take your kid here, uh, just know that they're going to be seeing that kind of stuff. So if you're cool with that, then it's cool. If you're not, then I guess you could take them to a nicer park. But this is a nice park though, I won't lie. But I'll continue to keep walking so I can show you guys what else is around. Surprise, it's kind of calm today. Usually there's a lot of strange stuff going down here. But it's good. I guess it makes it safe for me to film my video. I mean, I was going to film it anyways. But I guess now it's... I don't got to worry about people getting mad or something like that. Yeah, I mean, check it out for yourself. If you're ever in Southern California, in Los Angeles County, and you want to come see the city, you can definitely come stop by, and you'll be greeted with this. You know? do a video on like the city of Ontario but just kind of like walk through the downtown part of it That's, Ontario looks a lot nicer it looks also historic it looks um, it looks old as well vintage it gives you that feel that you know it's been around for a long time Here you can see everything though. That's the liquor store. A lot of bad stuff happens there. It's a laundromat. There's a lot of like, trash here. A lot of written things on the sidewalk. A lot of like gum. Street vendors. But yeah, I think I think I'm gonna wrap it up for like this video. But if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know. 
and if you guys would like to see me more see me do more content like this or if you guys want to suggest like spots or areas that you guys would like me to go you know check out and see just comment it down below in the comment section if you guys can suggest it suggest what you guys want to see See is that trash here, like I said. But you guys can suggest whatever you guys want. And I'll do my best to get to it, you know? But overall, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for clicking on this my video. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And peace out.